In this video, I'd like to talk about Victron's new energy monitor. The energy monitor connects to a GX device to allow AC loads to be monitored and recorded both locally and up on the VRM portal. Up until now, the only energy monitors that have been supported by Victron are Carlo Gavatsky items. But Victron have now released their own device onto the market. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and then we can talk about the features of the Victron variant versus the Carlo Gavatsky just to see whether it might be a more appropriate choice for your particular application. I'm going to have to read off the part number because it's not particularly catchy, but it's uh, the VM3P75CT. So it's a three phase, 3P, and CT stands for current transformer. So the current measurement is done by current clamps. So that means that this is really principally a three phase monitor, but you can just clamp one phase if you've only got a single phase system and bring that information in. So let's have a quick look inside the box. Pretty straightforward. We've got a QR code here that gives you access to the manual. We have two termination resistors in the event that you are communicating over CAN between your GX device and the meter. The meter itself, the meter has got a ethernet connection uh, if that's how we're going to connect it to the GX device or VE CAN ports if we're using a CAN connection. Also, you see down at the bottom here, we have uh, terminations for neutral, uh, three phases and earth, and that's both to power the device and also to provide the voltage monitoring. In the event that it was a single phase application, you would just connect to neutral and L1. Next, we have three of these current transformers. These current transformers are clip around transformers. So I'll just show you here that you can unclip the CT, place that around a cable without disconnecting it, click it back together, and then our CT connection goes into the device using this plug here. We'll see on the top of the module, these sockets where the CT literally just clips in. It's a very straightforward connection and the leads on these are approximately one meter long. So plenty of room within the distribution board to get to the, uh, the cables that you want to actually monitor. So why would we choose either of these two connection offerings? Ultimately, I guess that really points to where this product differs from the Carlo Gavatsky products that are already offered by Victron. And that is really down to the speed of update of the, of the readings that come off of this device. Now, if you're only monitoring the loads for a matter of interest and you've got your VRM set to logging at its most frequent interval, which is every minute, then really the Carlo Gavatsky unit is going to give you plenty of granularity of data because it's, it's recording a number of times per second. However, if you're using your energy monitor as part of an energy storage system, then you'll be a lot more interested in about the speed of response to the import and export of power and the fluctuations in the output from any PV or other renewables you might have in the system. And the benefit of the Victron device is that it's got a much higher refresh rate um, by, by really an order of magnitude. So it's able to respond make the system respond that much more quickly to any changes in loads or, um, or, or PV output. And that will, in turn, really just maximise the efficiency of the system in terms of allowing unwanted energy to accidentally export or for you to be in a position where you're accidentally importing whilst we're waiting for an update from the energy monitor. So that's where this product is really going to um, uh, earn its keep. And in order to get the maximum speed of response, then what we need is a high speed connection between the energy monitor and the GX device. And to get the maximum speed, we would use CAN. The challenge with CAN is uh, only really to do with the distances that you can operate CAN over and any potential uh, wiring that may exist already within the installation. So if you did have your GX device some way away from where the energy monitor is going to be located, then it may be more convenient to do it with the Ethernet connection. So whilst this is perhaps not quite as fast as the CAN, it again is a 
definite move ahead from the RS485 interface that is currently available with the Karla Kavatsky products. With the Ethernet connection, we just connect that into the existing a home or business or vessel network and that will coexist with the internet traffic uh, and we'll get the data back across that network through the various switches and routers etc back to the GX device that then gives you a, a you know an, potentially an existing backbone of cabling that you can just tap into. Dropping back onto the CAN side of things, as with all CAN networks, what you need to have is a terminating resistor at the two extreme ends of the network. Each GX device is shipped with two terminating resistors, but just in case those have gone astray, in the meantime, then the energy monitor also gets shipped with two terminating resistors. These are moulded into an RJ45 um, plug. Uh, the resistor's just inside here. If your energy monitor is at the end of the line, in order to install that terminating resistor, it literally just gets inserted into one of the CAN ports. So with its DIN rail housing, it makes it very straightforward to install into a regular distribution board or to in any kind of cabinet, provided you can snap a little bit of DIN rail in there. It's very low power consumption, high speed data, uh, so an ideal choice for anything where we're really looking to maximise that efficiency of an energy storage type system. The product's available on our e-store to buy now. We're keeping good stock of the product and I think it's going to be an excellent addition to the Victron rate.